Hi friends, today we're going to do this purse that is made with 17 granny squares. Well, I hope you like it and here is a tutorial. Recycle with me. It will be fun. For this project, we're going to need 1,309 pop tops. I used the regular ones that come in the soda cans. A plier to do a little fold on the sharp edge of the pop tops, like this. A crochet hook, a 2.00 millimeters. A lighter. Scissors. Uh, let's pick a nylon cord number 9, available in my website, ericacreativa.com And this is going to be optional if you want to do crocheted handles or if you want to get other handles like these ones, you can do so too. And let's get started. We're going to make this granny square that is uh, made with 7 rows of 11 pop tops each. So that means that we need 77 pop tops to do this granny square. Okay, and let me explain. Um, seven of the pop tops, which are going to be the ones that are going to be in the bottom row, we need to do a little fold. So for that, we're going to grab our plier and we're going to fold so we don't have the sharpness in the pop top. Without being out of the way, we're going to start with two pop tops. We print our crochet hook to join them with two single crochet stitches. So one and two. And we're going, we're going to grab two more and we're going to put them on top of the two, two previous ones, like this. And we're going to join them with two single crochet stitches as well. One. And two. We grab two more and place them on top of the previous two and join them with two single crochet stitches. One and two. And repeat the same step. One And two, and we're going to repeat the same step with all the 11 pop tops that we need on each row. I already joined all the 11 pop tops, and we're not going to add more. So we're going to bring our crochet hook to these last um, holes of those pop tops, and do two single crochet stitches and three chain stitches. One, two, and three, and we're going to open the pop tops. And we can see the two rows completed. The next step is that I'm going to bring those three chain stitches to this pop top because I I'm, I crochet from the right to the left, so this this side is better for me. And we're going to start adding the first pop top of the third row, and we're going to join it with two single crochet stitches. And the next one, let me explain to you, we have to make sure that we're going to follow the same pattern of the two previous rows. So we're not going to put the pop top on top of the previous one because then we will be changing the format. See? We want to show this view, mm -hmm. not this one. So we need to place the, the other pop top under the previous one. Like I said, we always have to make sure at the beginning of each row that we're that the work is following the same pattern of the two previous ones. So the next pop up it's also going to go on the under the previous one and we're joining them with two single crochet stitches. Same thing. And just uh, just to make sure that I'm explaining this, I'm grabbing all the pop tops at the same time because we're just we're attaching them to the previous row. Did 
the other one also. So we're going to follow the same step until we complete that row. I already cut to the last pop up and remember we need to do a little fold on all the pop ups that are going to be on the bottom. We're just going to join with two single crochet stitches and then three chain stitches open and the third row is completed now and we're going to turn and I'm going to start working on this side and remember since this is the pop up the one that has the fold I um, already have one ready and I'm going to join it with one single crochet stitch one and two and start adding the rest of the pop tops of that row and this time the pop top is going to be behind the, the previous one and let me show you why join it with two single crochet stitches behind because it's going to follow the same format as the previous one because if we do this it's not going to be right so the next one is also going to go behind the previous one and joined with two single crochet stitches as the rest of the pop tops of that row so we're going to, con going to continue until we get here so I already added the last pop top of that row and I'm going to do the last two single crochet stitches and then the three chain stitches to start a new row open and the fourth row is completed so we're going to follow the same steps until the seven rows are completed I already completed the seven rows and um, and did my three last my last three chain stitches and what I'm going to do I'm going to bring them to this to the second pop top on this side and we're going to do four single crochet stitches in the, the pop top star on that side so I have two three and four bring the crochet hook to the next pop top and we're going to do the same four single crochet stitches one two three and four and the same thing one two And four and the same thing one two three and four so it's four single crochet stitches in the pop tabs that are in the vertical position And once we get to the ones in the corner, are going to have six single crochet stitches. Six single crochet stitches. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now we're going uh, to work on the pop tops that are on the horizontal side. And on these ones, we're going to do two single crochet stitches. One, two, one, two, and the same thing with the rest of the pop tops on that side. Until we get to the one in the corner where we're going to do six single crochet stitches. So I already got to the one in the corner and like I said, we're going to do six single crochet stitches. So that's two, three, four, five, 
five and six and we're ready on the pop tops that are in the vertical position and we're going to do four single crochet stitches one two three and four and we're going to repeat the same step four single crochet stitches on these pop tops and six single crochet stitches in the one in the corner and two single crochet stitches on the pop tops on this side until we get to this pop top I already got to the pop top to the last pop top which is the one that is in the corner and that one has to have six single crochet stitches so that's two three four five and six and we're going to close here where we started with a slip stitch and we just need to cut the cord hide the excess cord and bore the ends So we're going to join all the granny squares in this format. So I'm going to use the, um, these rows, but we can also use, well, it's, it's the same thing. So we're going to need one row of two granny squares, one row of four granny squares, one row of five granny squares, another row of four squares, and another row of two granny squares. And we're going to uh, start joining them so we're going to start working we're going to join two granny squares and we're going to start in the corner we're going to join them with single crochet and I'm using this side that I'm the one I'm joining joining them by the horizontal side and I leave a long strand of cord which I'm hiding as I'm crocheting so remember single crochet So we face together those two pieces and we're joining them with single crochet from the inside. And I already got to the corner. And I'm going to close with the slip stitch. Cut the cord. Hide the excess cord and burn the ends. I already have the first row. And remember, we're going to follow the same step to have another row of four granny squares, the other one full with five another one four and the other one with two 
we're going to follow the same step to join them. And I already have all the rows ready, but since the granny squares are big, uh, I cannot show them to you completely in the camera. But here's a row of two, the next row of four, the biggest row that has five granny squares, another one of four, and the two. And what we're going to do now is use the same technique that we used to join the grannies. Now we're going to join the rows. And remember, this is the diagram that we're going to follow. First, we need to grab the two, the one that has two granny squares and the one that has four granny squares. And then the two granny squares are going to be in the middle of the row that has four granny squares. And then the five is going to be aligned on this side with the one that has four. And then the other one that has four granny squares is going to be aligned on this side. And lastly, it will be the one that has two granny squares is going to be in the middle. And the technique that we're going to use, like I said, is going to be the same. So I grab the one that has four and the one that has two granny squares. I'm going, we're going to place them, face them against the other one in the middle. And we're going to start in the corner like this and we're going to join them with single crochet. So we're going to continue until we get here. And I already got to the end of this round and we're going to cut the cord, hide the excess cord and burn the ends. We're going to follow the same steps to join the rest of the rows. Remember to follow this diagram until we have a single piece. And once we have a single piece that we already finished joining all the granny squares, we have Three, these three peaks on the horizontal side and we have two on the vertical side on both ends. So what we're going to do now, this part is going to be, we're going to fold it and this is going to be the front and the back face of our bag. Like this. And this one that it's in the middle, this side, we're going to join it with this side and this side we're going to join it with this one and we're going to repeat the same on the other end this side to this side and this side with this one i'm going to be working from the inside and i already placed my crochet hook on these two stitches so we have to use single crochet to join it from here to here We're going to grab the other side of this other granny and we're going to join it with this granny. Remember, remember the one that it's in the middle? We're, we're, we're going to join both 
sides. We're going to join it from here to here. I already finished joining these sides and I'm going to cut the cord, hide the excess and burn the ends. What we just did here, we're going to repeat it on this side. And once we already joined the, the granny square that was in the middle, now it's in the bottom, as you can see, but in the middle. The last thing that we're going to do is join these two grannies that are on the sides. From here to here. And the same thing on the other side of the back. These two grannies, we're going to join them from here to here and also with single crochet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start in the corner as always. So what we did here, we're going to do it on the other side. And once we're finished, we're going to turn the back outside, we're going to bring the outside out. Here's the first, we just need to add the lining, the handles, and I'm going to add some decoration to the back. And now we're going to add the handles, and I'm going to recycle these handles from another bag. And as you can see, there are some marks from um, some studs that the old bag had. And what I did is that I made two, three additional holes, and I used this tool to punch the holes on this type of material. So I'm going to use, I'm going to attach this with the back using suit cord. And here's the final result. I liked it. I hope you did too. Um, well, if you're not subscribed to my channel, I invite you to subscribe. Thank you and I'll see you next time.
Please take a minute of your time to visit my online store at ericacreativa.com where I feature most of the items that I use in my videos such as Let's Pick a Nylon Cord Number 9, Metal Purse Frames and many more items. And also I would like to invite you to join my Facebook page at, at Erika Creativa and I do live transmissions, live tutorials on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays and Saturdays. So I will see you there at 6 p.m.